I am not going to. Okay, don't you engage. know what? Don't engage. I'm not engaging. We are leaving. Frustration boils over after a controversial decision about the future of San Onofre. Our tennis reporter McKinsey Maynard explains the unanimous vote to tear down that nuclear plant and move waste somewhere else. Coastal Commissioner and San Diego Representative Steve Padilla frustrated at Thursday's meeting. We should not be in a position in the state of California where we are even contemplating storing radiological materials in the coastal zone. It's disgusting to me. Pointing the finger at the federal government. And here we sit in this situation, excuse my choice of words. I don't like it. It's a no win. Nearly 50 speakers signed up to share their opinions on SoCal Edison's proposed project, which would remove almost everything from the site, including these twin domes. The demolition work would take up to 10 years. This is part of the effort to fully decommission the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station, also called SOGS. It sits on land owned by the U.S. Navy, but many people are concerned about the spent nuclear waste removal. There have been a number of lawsuits over concerns about the 3.6 million pounds of nuclear waste and where that will go during the process. Is there any unwillingness for unanimous yes vote? Seeing none, the motion passes. A quick vote instigated people in the audience wanting a roll call. You, sir, are out of order. So you, I am not calling a roll. I don't need a vote. I got a unanimous vote. So you can either sit down and be quiet or leave. However, in the vote following the hours long public comment, the commissioners voted unanimously to approve the permit for SoCal Edison to move forward with a plan. Reporting in Chula Vista, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News. SoCal Edison will be back in March of next year with a more specific plan now that the permanent, uh, permit has been approved.